Hey guys, Zenith Dark Sky here with another music reaction, and this time we are reacting to Jesse J and Luke James singing I'll Be There on the Singer 2018, episode 14. Um, so we've reacted to a lot of Jesse J on the Singer um, because we reacted to um, one of the other artists on the Singer quite a few times, and now, you know, and then we moved over to Jesse J because I, people were like, hey, if you're a fan of her and her voice, um then you should check out her performances on singer so yeah we've we've been through quite a few of these now with her but some a lot of people really requested this it's like a duet i guess and i i don't know who luke james is i've never heard of that that person um but i am always willing to give new singers a chance and give new music a chance um at least initially right so i'm gonna get into that but before i do if you guys haven't already hit that subscribe button for me please do that for me Real quick, it would help out a whole lot. We're on our way to 7,500 um, subs, which is crazy. Uh, and and hopefully on to 10K past that. And um, we have a really cool thing that we're going to do for 10K subs. So um, it, it'll especially be pretty cool for my um, Filipino um, audience. Either way, let's uh, go ahead and get into this. Ni hao, everyone. I want to take a moment to say shishi for everyone here, the band, the crew, everyone that's made this such an amazing experience, life-changing. And I wanted to celebrate by bringing someone here that's very special to me with one of my favorite voices in the whole world, Mr. Luke James. Hmm. So apparently he's already known to some extent. What is this song again? I'll be there. Yeah, I've heard I'll be there before. Obviously not this version, but you and I must make a plan. We must bring salvation back. Where there is love, I'll be there. I want to stop it there already really quick. First of all, to say her voice immediately, great, fantastic. She does, she kills everything she tries. Um, but I could tell that the, um, the chemistry that these two are about to have for this like duet type thing here is probably going to be actually pretty intense, pretty cool. Um, because obviously they're friends or they know each other in some way. And I, I, I wanted to point out that earlier that when she said, um, and I, I don't know Chinese um, cause I were Mandarin or, or, or whatever, whichever dialect. Um, but I know she said shishi or whatever. Um, I don't know what that means. You could tell me in the comments, but what I'm getting at is that she, um, she said that and he kind of wanted to smile about it. Um, so I, I wonder if it's weird, you know, there must be friends that must be weird to him to hear her speak another language, um, randomly. And so I, I think that's probably why it was. And he, you could tell that he's kind of having a hard time not smiling right now. Um, just probably because he, you know, friends, you know, friends get in those moods where they're just having a good time, having fun and laughing about stuff and things are funny. You know, it's, it's one thing if you get two singers that don't know each other and make them sing together. Yeah, they might be able to be pretty good together or whatever. It's another thing to have two friends doing that because, um, you know, if, if I'm sure you guys have friends and know that sometimes, even if it's a serious situation, you can't help but, you know, kind of be a little giggly and stuff. Um, so I'm sure this is going to be pretty intense. Beautiful vibrato. Just call my name and I'll be there. I'll be there to comfort you. I'll build my world of dreams around you. You know I'm so glad I found you. Oh, yeah. I'll be there with the love so strong. I'll be your strength. Mm, okay. You know I'll keep holding on. Mm. Okay. 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 
okay, so he is like the soul, um, you know, the soul. I mean, she she's a very soulful singer. That's one of the things that makes her so good is the emotion and the soul that she puts into her voice. But I would say he, he's he got a very, very soulful R&B voice as well, um, which would explain why they're friends. You know, or one of the things that probably, you know, they get along on is, is uh, the, a similar genre of music doing a similar genre of music. Um, but I would assume he does. I don't know. He could be a, a rapper or a rocker or a pop artist or, a, I don't know, maybe even a country singer. Luke James kind of sounds like a country thing, right? Um, but either way, he, um, his voice is incredible, but I want to say that he seems like maybe like the, maybe R and B equivalent to her. Like he's, he's doing things to match her in terms of runs and fancy little vocal tricks and stuff. Very, very cool. Mm. She came in with the attitude. Actually, you know what? I want to go back and hear that again. That was a that was that was wild right there. Threw a lot of I don't know vocal fry or something in there. A lot of just power into that um, that specific note there. <laughs> God dang. That's insane. That is so good, dude. Oh my god. It's 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 very it, it's not that it doesn't happen, but it's very rare to hear um a male vocalist really solidly hit something that high. Um it, it's not that it's uncommon completely. It's just it's just, you know, it's a little bit of a rarity and that is insane that he came he just came with the energy on that. That was that was nice. We're going to listen to it again real quick. Man, it's it's just it's 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 crazy to see like two singers that are so talented and and uh, and and just giving it their all like in each other's faces, kind of in a way, and and but like harmonizing and so like his voice goes so well with like um with what she's been doing with the uh she's you know kind of adding a little bit more power and and um vocal fry and stuff like that to her to her notes and so that's a really nice contrast to his just kind of normal just beautiful notes um that's actually really really uh just a really cool um trick that they're kind of using to really really mesh their voices 
And I love that they're like, I, I usually give a lot of gripes over runs and too many runs and a bunch of things like that. But with these two artists kind of just going back and forth with it at the end of some of these lines and everything, it, it almost it almost feels just right for it. It doesn't feel like overdoing it or anything, um, which is rare because I think throwing too many runs and a lot of things can overdo it for sure. But they really seem to be kind of not just throwing them all around, but kind of bouncing off each other with it. And I think that um, that's very impressive for one, but just intelligent, you know, very smart. Strategic is the word I'm looking for. Yeah, what a voice, man. He's good. Just call my name. Jesse J. <laughs> Jesse J. Man. Always and forever China. That was good, dude. That was really, really good. That's oh. what a performance. What a performance from those two, man. Um, I love the way their voices mesh together and I've never heard him before, but he's a really, really talented singer. Um if that's the kind of music that he sings normally, then it's probably not anything that I would um, listen to. Because, I mean, that's a great song. Everybody knows that song. But it's just not something I'm going to, you know, I, tur I turn on myself and listen to. Um, I don't listen to, like, ballads like that. Like, in, not that I don't listen to sad music or anything like that, somber music. I just don't listen to, like, old ballad type things. So... You know, it is what it is, but it's really good. <laughs> they did, they both did insane, and that's awesome. That's awesome to see. Um, yeah. Uh, I love that performance. Thank you to those of you, the many of you that, that suggested that. Um, uh, shout out to you guys for that. I appreciate that. Uh, hit the like button if you like the video and, and like the reaction. Uh, comment down below if you have any thoughts, opinions, or maybe just suggestions for other things you want me to react to as well. Share around so your friends can throw their thoughts, opinions, suggestions, and everything into the comments too. And hit that subscribe button if you guys haven't already. We're on our way to 7,500, then hopefully 10,000 subscribers, which is a number I honestly didn't think I would ever be talking about. So that's insane. So thank you guys so much. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.